Hey you guys, it's Amber J. Lee here and today I want to talk about something that's really important and I feel like it may offend a few people but these are my views and how I experienced dating. It's Amber J. Lee. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let's learn pretty girls. And also while you're here, just follow my Instagram as I also post updates. So I am a conservative Republican black woman so you can imagine how hard it is already to date in the world when most of my people are liberal and have different views than I do. Sometimes I wonder if my standards are unrealistic or if they're unable to be obtained or if since I am black should I not request them as a black woman. As you know we are the most disrespected and what the world considers the least desirable. So I'm going to start off with saying like what my standards are. So let's get started. These are my non-negotiables. Like this is just something I am not willing to work on. I'm not willing to do anything about. I'm not willing to change them. It's just what I'm not willing to debate on. And a lot of people, especially in the inner city, a lot of guys I date, these are things that they don't value anymore. And I don't know if that's just the new generation, but that's just how I am. And these are things that I value. Number one, I want marriage before having kids. I am willing to not have kids at all in my lifetime if I am not married. I just don't see the value in having kids by a man who does not want to marry me, only because you can literally die from childbirth. You can lose your mind. Childbirth is called postpartum psychosis. You, Your body changes forever. I'm just not into that baby mama, baby daddy culture. That's the thing now, and I'm just not with it. Number two, I'd rather him have a relationship with God or a higher power. I want somebody who's religion and who have a sense of respect for something other than man. Like, people who tend to be religious or have a higher power of being, they tend to... Be more compassionate of people. Not saying all the time, but I just feel like when you have a relationship with God and you're serving somebody other than yourself and man, you tend to be more of a well-rounded person. Realistic plans for the future. I don't want to date a guy who wants to be a rapper. I don't want to date a guy who's a party promoter. I need you to be in school. I need you to have a business plan. I need you to do something. Not saying you can't do whatever you want to do on the side, but I need you to be in school. I need you to be working somewhere. I don't care if it's USPS. You need to be working. I don't want you to be like, oh, I'm not working. I'm a rapper. Unless you taking off and you about to be like Kanye West or something, I need you to find a job. And, that's, and this is a lot of things in the city guys I date, they all want to be rappers. And I'm just like, no, I don't want a relationship with a rapper, period. That doesn't sound appealing. That doesn't sound interesting. That doesn't sound like something I want to, I don't see a future with that. I'm sorry. Four, you have to have a good relationship with your parents. If you can disrespect your parents, you will disrespect me. Your parents are a representation of you and how you treat your parents is how you will treat your partner. It's just human nature. It's just human nature, and I refuse to date someone who doesn't, who hates their parents, who doesn't speak to their parents, unless their parents were like horrible to them, abusing them, or something like that. But if you're just one of those people who just want to cuss your mom out when y'all have a slightest argument, or if you want to just disrespect your mother, put your hands on your parents, I don't, see, I don't see me in your future. Five, I want somebody romantic. Or if you're not romantic, at least caring other than yourself. A lot of these guys are selfish and they put their needs first and you have to serve them. And it's just like, yes, a woman does serve a man, but you have to woo her and put her in position to serve you. Yes, I am naturally submissive, but you have to show me that you're interested instead of just being like, okay, hey, I'm saying I'm interested because we live in a generation where people well, people say anything and do the exact opposite. If you can just show me what you're and, and back up what you're telling me, like like they do in the old days, like when a man says I love you and shows you that he loves you, then yeah, it's going to work out. And a lot of guys these days aren't like that. They aren't. They want you to show them that you, they want, they want you to show them that yet you like them and that you want to do anything for them before they even consider taking you seriously. And that's not how it's supposed to be. For six, you have to have a car and a place. I have that. You should have that. I'm not even going to explain why. As a man, especially in my age range, you need to have that. No criminal background. I don't need you out here robbing banks, selling drugs. I don't want you to put me at risk of losing my career. I don't want it. I don't want it. I work too hard. I'm damn near dying and taking exams. You're not about to ruin it because you want to sell weight. Absolutely not. Again, marriage, a relationship with God. 
realistic plans for the future or a promising future a great relationship with your parents caring or romantic because you know you can teach them about it to, to your love language six a car in a place and seven no his no criminal background i can provide all these things i don't see why i can find someone who can do that as well race at this point doesn't matter because i hate to say but me finding a black guy in the inner city with those values is slim to none it's slim to none those seven things i will be single for the rest of my life if a guy doesn't have that let me know if that's unrealistic then i love my black men but that's like a needle in a haystack honestly and vice versa for women too here are my negotiables like what i'm willing to change but what i want healthy eater like i eat healthy so i'd rather you eat healthy too because i feel like if i eat healthy why don't you eat healthy number two a communicator like I want you to be able to communicate what you want and what you like and what you don't like because I'm a communicator and I'm going to say it. So I'd rather you be that way too instead of holding things in. And a lot of guys do that. They hold things in and it's not okay. Like you need to open your mouth. Now these are, like I said, these are my negotiables. I can teach you this, these things and you can teach me what you like. Income. Don't care if your income is is higher or at the same level as long as it's not lower. But if it's, it is lower, slightly lower, I'm okay with that. I won't belittle you. Race slash ethnicity, I don't care. You can be black, white, blue, green. If you treat me good, I'm happy for it. And I'm willing to work something out. He has a child or has been married before. This day and age, everybody has a child and everybody has been married before. If he has, I'm okay with that. I'm not, It's not the end of the world. Like, I'm willing to work with that. If he's a lot older than I am, um, I'm okay with that. I prefer 10 years by cap limit. But if it's 20 years or 15 years, I'm okay with that. And I'm willing to work on that. Um, I feel like when you're a black woman and you have all these, like the higher you go up the totem pole, the slimming it is for you to find another counterpart. Like it's almost impossible to find someone on your level who can give you what you want as a black woman. Like I feel like when you go higher, you have less allies. Just comment below what you feel about black women and dating when they are above average in their careers, finances, et cetera, et cetera. But I hope you like this video. Let's talk about it because I noticed that a lot of black women, they are single when they have PhDs. It's like it's hard to find a man who's on their level or higher, in, especially in their race. It's just harder. Like this, the pickings are slim to none. But we're going to talk about this. Let's figure this out and let's leave your opinions.